Y'all get ready. Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. And we will also have our holiday gift baskets available in the next few days. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that option. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. So I know I've been busy, like I told you guys, running back and forth to the post office, dropping out packages and everything else. So I hadn't had the time to shoot any videos recently, but you know what? Today I got time, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. You lucky on that day I was acting cool, cuz. Nigga, what? what's up? How gangster are you, cuz? I don't fuck with you, cuz. You disrespecting me. I don't fuck with you, cuz. You disrespecting me. I go hard, cuz. Now y'all know that meme always makes me laugh. So anyways, y'all, I pull up a seat, grab your damn teacups, and let's get this discussion popping, okay? So a lot of you guys have been asking me to talk about this whole Nicki Minaj situation. Y'all wanted me to break it down from start to finish. This entire situation is crazy as hell. I've been keeping up with it from day one, okay? There's been a lot of behind the scenes stuff going on, a lot of things I've been privy to. People have been sending me information, but I've just been sipping slow, you know what I'm saying? Collecting my receipts, doing what it is I do over here. So now, anyhow, if you guys don't know, there's been all this drama concerning Nicki Minaj's new relationship. She's dating this guy. His name is Kenny Zupetti, okay? So what's going down is this. Around the end of November, people started noticing that Nicki Minaj was hanging around a lot of bloods, okay? And a lot of people were DMing me this, and you know, we were talking about it. And they're like, you know, why is Nicki Minaj hanging around like so many bloods all of a sudden? She's throwing up gang signs. And so it started bothering a lot of people who were real bloods and a lot of people out there in New York. So at that time, it was being rumored that she was dating Kenny, but you know, they were trying to keep it under wraps. So she just kept posting all these videos, you know, with her hanging out with all these goons and stuff in the hood. And it's like, this is so far from the Nicki Minaj that we're used to. So people were like really confused. Okay, so y'all go ahead and check these videos of her throwing up gang signs and you know hanging out with all these hood dudes. Y'all go ahead and check this out. It's low me. I'm eating good. Like. Niggas know we we eating good. Like yo, <laughs> have you beat it out? <laughs> have you on it? Got cash. I've been waiting for you, my boy. You know this is a good boy, good boy, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I ain't gonna lie, Lou. It's for the queen. This for the queen. Thanks, queen. Thanks, queen. Have you on it? Thanks, Queen. Happy birthday. Thanks, Queen. Happy birthday. Uh? You already know, man. You already know, man. This is a good one. Every day. 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 Every Honey, what in the game banger hell is going on here, okay? 
Anyways, and shout out to Bloody Shoes because she be on it. Anytime she sees some video or footage, she sends it to me. Her and so many other people, they be in my DMs. Shout out to all of y'all. I enjoy conversating with y'all and, you know, just talking about everything from damn celebrity gossip to just, you know, everyday shit, okay? So anyhow, so like I said, a lot of folks were kind of disturbed. Like, you know, why is Nicki Minaj throwing up, you know, blood hand signs and, you know, this makes no sense. It's like she's trying to make herself look tough, trying to make herself look like a bad girl. And of course, people were correlating that to Cardi B because we all know Cardi B is a blood. She's been a blood since she was in high school. This is not a secret, okay? And then information was leaked to the press via TMZ that basically this man has an extensive criminal record. He went to prison for a manslaughter. He killed somebody, but he pled to manslaughter and that he's also a rapist, that he basically raped his girlfriend. He put a knife to her throat and raped her. Even though they were the same age, it was still considered rape, and he did four years for that. And then he did seven years on the murder case. And he also has five children by, I believe, several different women. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what TMZ had to say. Go ahead and check this out. So they're saying that Petty was convicted of first degree attempted rape in 1995 when both he and the victim were 16 years old and was sentenced to four years in New York State Prison. According to court records obtained by TMZ, the 40-year-old used a sharp object when he tried to force the accuser to have sexual intercourse. According to prosecutors, he reportedly... He reportedly served four years for that crime. Petty was also convicted of first-degree manslaughter after his release. A criminal complaint filed by the Queens City District Attorney revealed that he pled guilty to shooting a man named Lamont Robinson, who died in a nearby hospital shortly after the incident. Petty was initially charged with second-degree murder, but reached a plea deal in order to bring the charges down to manslaughter. According to the criminal complaint, Petty shot Robinson with a loaded handgun multiple times, thereby causing his death on April 27, 2002, at approximately 12.30 a.m. Petty was sentenced to 10 years in prison, but was released after serving seven in May of 2015 and was on supervised release for five years, which concluded last May, according to court documents. Nicki Minaj confirmed her relationship to Petty on Sunday via Instagram after speculation of their involvement grew when he appeared in her Snapchat. All right, so you guys just heard me read that. So if that's not crazy enough, this guy, Zoo Petty, um, he also has an ex-girlfriend. He also had a current girlfriend. Actually, they were together, and she had no idea that him and Nikki got together because this was her man, and then all of a sudden, he's appearing in Nikki's snaps, and they were saying that initially, he was supposed to be working for Nikki. Nikki knew him in Queens, and that they all grew up together, and that she was really cool with him and his crew, and basically, sparks started flying again, and so Nicki Minaj basically stole her man. So she's been on Instagram, and she's been very vocal about the situation. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys her comments and her back and forth with some of the bar concerning her ex-boyfriend. So on December 3rd, she wrote, your kids don't need a perfect mom, they need a happy one. And I thought more moms should see it. And then later on that day, um, she wrote, there's rules to this gang shit though. You dropped out the whip like that, karma. And then her and another Barb have a conversation. And she said, I have no problem with her, but she's messing with my man that was living with me. How he wake up and chase behind a rapper. I mean, I know she's famous and all the girls chase rappers all the time. But as a man, my man, I wouldn't expect that at all. Then the Barb says, wait, but if he's your man, why is he with Nikki and you, why is he with Nikki and you didn't say he was a rapist? Then she goes, was mine. He's hers now. Nah, I never said that. Somebody looked up his record and seen it for themselves. All right, so that was back on December 3rd. So that was her just leaking some info. And then a few days later, she basically released a text message conversation that she was having with Zoo. And basically, Zoo was insinuating that he was using Nicki Minaj. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So she writes Zoo and she said, it's really sad. This is really sad. I don't want no man like you. I can't do it no more. Then he says, you sound dumb, but cool. Then she says, please give me my key. You cab, but I think she meant you can go about your life and be up Lou's ass and Nikki's ass and whoever. I don't want no man like that. And then he replies, he said, huh? I ain't up nobody's ass. Then he tells her, grow up. I'm trying to get us a bag. Then she says, now nah, I'm grown. And then he goes, nah. Then he goes, nobody care about them. And then she says, I want to go my separate ways. You too slow and stuck. Your mind don't work the long way. And then he laughs and she says, I'm good. Then once again, he tells her, you sound dumb. Stop beefing and you will see improvement, dumbass. Honey, 
Now, that sounds like some type of hustle, like he's trying to finesse Nicki Minaj. So, you know, she put that out there. Those were real text messages. So this entire situation is insane, okay? But the rabbit hole goes deeper. So then after she posted those messages, Nicki Minaj starts being petty and she just starts writing stuff on Snapchat. She's going in on the girl. She's like throwing like a lot of subliminals, basically saying, you know, ha ha, if you're mad, stay mad. So this entire situation is crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything that Nicki Minaj had been posting on Snapchat. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Right, so you guys just saw what Nicki Minaj posted. So after she posted that, she finally confirmed to the world that this man, Kenny Zoo Petty or Petty Zoo, whatever the hell his name is, Petty and Zoo, that's what I'll call him, Petty and Zoo, okay? Um, she confirms that that's her man. So somebody left a comment in Nicki Minaj's comment section and she replied back to them. So this is what was said. So the commenter says, wait, y'all calling this man a rapist, but it happened in 1994, meaning he was 16 or 17. The girl was 16 years old, must have been a white girl. Then she shrugs. Nicki Minaj says he was 15, she was 16 in a relationship, but go off internet. Y'all can't run my life. Y'all can't even run y'all's own life. Thank you, boo. So that was the final confirmation that Nikki was officially dating this guy. And once she confirmed that and she basically said she doesn't care about his rapist past, he's gonna be featured in her current music video that she's shooting. And so she just proceeds to just post all this stuff, lovey-dovey pictures and everything else. Y'all go ahead and take a look at the happy couple right here, okay? Niggas is trying to give you, you know what I'm saying? 25 racks for that first interview. Your leg was good. I don't do interviews. <laughs> I'm a gangster. Interview, they, that's, how, that's how these niggas be getting caught. Talking about somebody told on me. <laughs> Nigga, you snitching like, get the fuck out of here. These niggas is bozos, man. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw all those pictures and photos of the happy new couple. So now what's crazy is that basically the Daily Mail was reporting on this story. So Nicki Minaj basically got pissed off and said that she's going to sue Jesse and Arnold Palmer. I want you guys to go ahead and watch the news clip that pissed her off and then also look at the responses from Nicki Minaj and her bars were also attacking this man. They took to his Instagram page and they were lighting him up. So y'all go ahead and check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. The prison for seven years for manslaughter. He's out now, works in the record industry, and it seems like Nikki's saying, forget what her fans are saying, she's in love. All right, well, her fans are also worried because this isn't the first time that Nicki Minaj has defended a sex offender. Remember, she supported her brother, Jelani Minaj, two years ago when he was found guilty of sexually assaulting an 11-year-old girl. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Alicia Quarles, thank you.
All right, so you guys just saw them going at him. She claims that whatever money she wins from the lawsuit, she'll be paying people's, you know, college tuition and everything else. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. Um, TMZ is also reporting that Nicki Minaj is supposedly talking wedding bells and babies with her new felon bay. okay? So this is what they're reporting. They're saying that Nicki Minaj's relationship with her new boyfriend is way more serious than we thought. She's considering the married and the mom life with him. Sources close to the Queen MC tell us that Nikki and Kenneth Petty have already had marriage and baby talk. This after only a couple of months dating. We're told that Nikki is serious about the prospect of marrying Kenneth and having his kids because she believes he's a good man. As for the whole convicted sex offender thing, among other crimes, we're told that Nikki could care less. She certainly isn't shy about showing her new boo off either. Nikki posted a video of them working out together in the gym. As we reported, Nikki feels that Kenneth has changed for the better since he was young when he was convicted of first-degree rape as a 16-year-old. He's an old flame from way back then, and we're told that she's happy as ever, and now they've reconnected after all these years. Nikki seems to believe that Kenneth was falsely convicted, and he was dating the victim at the time and claims that the girl's mother had it in for him and made false allegations. So that is what TMZ is reporting. So like I said, Nikki's definitely taking this relationship very, very seriously, but a lot of her barbs and a lot of people online are not feeling this at all. People have been coming for her left and right over this situation. Now, as of this morning, Zoo Petty's ex-girlfriend, she goes by the name of Redbone Nun. Basically, she took to social media to post another comment this morning concerning the situation. So I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys her Snapchat post. Go ahead and check this out. So Redbone said, thanks for everyone's concern and input, but I'm going to make this clear. This is not my BD, men and baby daddy. It's just an ex. His criminal background, I did not put out there. That's not my place. I was hurt in the beginning because it happened so fast. But if they are happy, let them be happy. Shit happens for a reason, and I wish them nothing but the best. Now I got to move on too. All right, so you guys just heard me read what his girlfriend had to say. So she posted that this morning. So it looks like she's picking up and moving on and she's no longer, you know, really pressed by this situation. Or maybe she's secretly hoping that, you know, her ex-boyfriend who basically cheated on her for Nicki Minaj might slide her over some money, okay? She's definitely making her own money, but there's nothing like attaching your shit to a mega celebrity like Nicki Minaj, okay? But another thing that was pointed out to me that I found really interesting about this entire situation. If you guys remember a few months ago, Nicki Minaj put out this tweet which she was basically telling young girls to know their worth so i'm gonna go ahead and read this tweet to you guys go ahead and check this out so nikki tweeted that girls need to know their worth so she says hashtag queen know your worth i've been proposed to three times asked by four boyfriends to have their child being emotionally mentally or physically abused just to crack a fake smile on the gram and show off a ring is not happiness being cheated on humiliated belittled for the gram and then she puts a question mark there. Now, what I find funny about that tweet, looking back on it months later, that was clearly about Cardi B, okay? But what I find funny about that tweet is that she's telling young girls to know their worth, you know, to not settle for less. And I can't help but look at her with the side eye because Nicki Minaj is closer to 40 than she is 30. And I feel like she's moving backwards in life, okay? You know, I understand reconnecting with an old friend. You know, we all reconnect with old friends. But is that old friend worth reconnecting with? This is a man with a lengthy criminal record. You know what I'm saying? He raped his girlfriend. He took somebody else's life and he pled guilty to this. He did a total of 11 years in prison and this is the person that you want to basically show off to the world. It doesn't make sense to me. And I feel like Nicki Minaj is not being her true self. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like she's trying to put on this bad girl persona, this bad girl image because she feels like, you know, that's what people are not into because of, you know, Cardi B and other people out there. And I think that Nicki needs to just be herself. You know, when have we ever known Nicki to throw up gang signs? When have we ever known Nicki to talk about, you know, bloods and be around bloods and be around gangbangers? And even if there were certain guys in her entourage who did dirt or might have had ties to the streets she never you know let us in on it she never you know uplifted that she never bragged about that you know so it's very strange to see her almost going backwards in life and you know you can't go from dating a meek mill to dating Nas and then dating this guy you know zoo petty and then the way she got with him was because she was the other woman because he was clearly in a relationship so this entire situation is crazy I hope she knows what she's doing because it sounds to me it looks to 
me like the guy's looking for a come up, okay? Of course, to him, Nicki Minaj is an upgrade compared to his girlfriend. This is a world renowned superstar, you know, one of the most hottest female rappers out there. So, of course, this is an upgrade for him. So, he's going to go with her, you know. But to me, this is definitely a downgrade for her. And when you're telling girls to know their worth and you're telling them to choose better, then why are you not practicing what you preach? You know, so this entire situation, honey, is a hot damn mess. I'm really disappointed in the moves that she's making. If she can, you know, be with whoever she wants to be with. You know, I've always looked at Nicki Minaj at a certain caliber, especially being that she was in such a long relationship with Safari. And it seems like ever since that ended, she's just gone downhill as far as her dating life. And now she's settled for this guy. And it's like, Nicki, you don't know how many men in this world want you. You know, men who are well to do. You know, they don't necessarily have to be in the industry. She could date a guy who's in the tech field or, you know what I'm saying, who's a producer or a director. She could have her choice of the upper echelon of men and instead she chooses to date a street thug. You know, so I just find that really, really interesting. You know, I feel like this is Angela Simmons 2.0, you know, like, and you're choosing to basically date some random game banger guy who really is not bringing anything to the table. You guys are not equally yoked. So I don't understand what Nicki Minaj is doing. But again, that's my opinion. You guys don't have to agree. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Nicki Minaj and her new boyfriend, Zoo Petty, and his ex-girlfriend, Redbone. So how do you guys feel about this entire situation? Do you feel like Nicki has changed and it's not for the better? Or do you feel like Nicki is free to date whoever she wants to date, including an ex-felon who has rape and murder on his record? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.